When coronavirus first came to the UK, even before lockdown officially began, Cornwall's world-famous monkey sanctuary closed its doors. Although many zoos and animal attractions have begun to welcome back visitors, this site is still shut, with no idea when people might be allowed to return. It's been very quiet. We were not just closed to the public, but we had to create our own little isolation bubble. So for a while, we could only have a limited number of people on site. Some of the team actually um, came to live here. Um, so it's taken quite a while to just get things safe. All of the monkeys here are rescue animals. Many have been mistreated or sold as part of the primate pet trade. The sanctuary's first priority is to look after their welfare. We shut down because we knew that from past coronaviruses um, there could be a very serious threat to, to the primates themselves. The charity which runs the sanctuary here in Loo has decided there just isn't enough space to properly social distance and to keep the monkeys, the staff and the visitors safe. It's a big decision but one which they hope will pay off for the long-term health of these animals. We've got some very narrow paths. None of our indoor areas would be suitable for social distancing. We would have to employ so many people to facilitate things that we simply make a loss um, and we wouldn't guarantee everybody's safety. The financial impact has been huge. The charity relies on visitor income to provide food and medicine for the monkeys. It's been quite a scary and an enormous hit when we realised that we wouldn't be able to have visitors. We estimated that we would lose about £200,000. We know we're not going to be able to recoup the entire lot at the moment, um, but we put out a big appeal and we've had a fantastic response. We're absolutely determined that we will be here and into the future. We owe that to the monkeys. Um, in rescuing them from lives of neglect and need, we've promised them a, a, a place for, for life and a home for life and we're very determined that that will, that will still happen. With government guidance changing on a daily basis, everyone here is keeping a close eye on what the future holds. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, in Lou.